taking on the stars every opportunity they can. Every Go straight to the hoop, yep. make them defend you, or let, let you get the two. That's correct, but one of the things they're doing, if they get a one-on-one -on, -one on the weak side after a reversal or something, they do take the ball one-on-one -on -one and attack the rim. That's a good strategy already. They've got uh, two players on two fouls, Flavel and Casey Frank. Now, Frank went off with eight and a half minutes to play in the first period on his second foul. He won't be back until well into the second period. And we got 42 seconds, 41 seconds to play in the first period. Now, that's a very disappointing start for the captain. Well, he's got to be happy, though, because the, star the Stars haven't dropped off a lot. You know, they're only five down. Um, Reese Cassidy has an opportunity here, so you know, Casey will be pretty happy, I'd say. Yeah, another one in foul trouble. Judd Flavel, two fouls for him. And Brock Gillespie hasn't played too many minutes in this first quarter. Checks back into the game for the Stars. Yeah, here's a fiery little player. What will we see from him today? Who is he going to be talking to today? Nothing, because uh, I'm not going to talk about him. He doesn't deserve to be talked about, Bob. Okay. 17-14, three-point spread here. Into the last 35 seconds of the first period. Reverse layup. No, Bartlett gives it out to Kareem Johnson. He gets it all. <laughs> did he control that or did he control that? And he got a whack in the face for it. Look, I reckon he just threatened that ball into the basket. Oh, here we Watch. go. Look, he gets the big offense. No, he gets a pass. DC, look, he controlled himself. That's hang time, baby. Hang time. That's look at hang time. He Watch double pump. Look at the expression on his face. Get into that basket. Or he willed it in. He willed it in. That was a nice assist from Everard Bartlett. Weaving his way around the baseline. Settle down. Settle he found down. a wide open Kareem Johnson. Now somebody in the lane too soon from the Stars, and that gives Johnson a second try at this free throw. Misses both of them, but he gets his own rebound. That should never happen. Goes up, misses. Bartlett puts it in the air. We got another foul. Well, they keep it alive. Offensive rebounds. Well, no, they called a jump ball. Referee Allen got him, called a jump ball situation there, so now it goes to the Hawks. Well, the red arrow is pointing Hawks' way, so with 23 seconds, they get possession. So they got 23 on the clock, 23 per, uh, second possession. They can take the last shot here in the first period and try to extend that lead. It's 19-14, and Aiden Daly. Oh, that's vicious underneath there, Bob. That is real NBL. This is final basketball. You watch this. Look, Aiden Daly, he took the basket. Look, he took it to the shot. Here we go. And look at the rebounding power underneath. And look, boom, Callum Baines goes up and he's got three blue oh, shirts. I like this young man. We're going to see more of him. Well, like I say, I don't know where he was last week, but uh, you know, the Hawks managed to win without him. But gee, we've seen him a number of times too this year. Well, and he's played very, very well. Yeah, New Zealand basketball just doesn't have many guys his size around the place you know we've got some young guys like jeremiah truman named in that tall black squad of 14 but really this sort of size we don't have a lot of players like him so uh, and, and he can score you know offensively we've seen him put up some numbers this year well strong Chris, down on the block do you think he'd move to canterbury next year well i think he should be playing more you, you know, know do you know something we don't well, no i don't actually but well, that's it. The end of the first 10 minutes of play. And the Hawks lead the Stars by 6, 20 to 14.